welcome to Semmering Barn, the new DLC for Train Sim World 4. If this happens to be the first video or stream you've seen by me, my name's Richard and I'm a mainline freight train driver and former passenger train driver based in the southeast of England. Before we jump in, I have got to tell you that all the views and opinions expressed within this video are solely my own and may not affect those of any companies I may be employed by or associated with. Furthermore, Dovetail Games have given me this key completely free of charge, but they do have no editorial control over the content. Uh, they're not paying me in any way, shape or form, so all the opinions are my own. So, this is the new Semmering Barn DLC for Trains in World 4. In part one of this video, we done a full route run, and I'm going to apologise for the pronunciations. A full route run um, from Merschlag to Wiener Neustadt. <laughs> I'm really, really apologising. Uh, in the Taurus, uh, during the day, having a look at the mountain scenery in nice, clear weather. What we're going to do now is jump into the OBB4024. Uh, multiple unit which come originally with a Varalaberg route but it is included with this route and we're going to do the mountain pass section in snowy conditions. This is our train arriving just here. You you would think I'd planned that with a couple of cover and a snow plow. So let's try and kick the driver out and take over this service. Hopefully it's going to let us do that. We would absolutely like to take control. We're not going to spend too much time on the train here because this is a train that has been featured in the game before. And like I say, the main purpose of this video is to look at the uh, the mountain pass in the snow. So hopefully the cab's all set up. Um, yeah, we've got headlights on the front. This is going to be a um, train brake handle inserted. Lovely stuff. Uh, and we are locking the doors. Okay, so we are stopping at. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Schmoogle uh, pay, Payback Cub. We're stopping at those ones on the screen there. Um, we're only going to be taking it along the mountain pass section, not all the way. Like I say, if you do want to see the full route um, and my review on it, then do go and check that video out. Right, hopefully this is all going to work. Yes, we are off, and we're good for a hundred k. And we got lots of nice slipping effects in the snow. Which is always good. Okay, so just around the corner here, we are going to, technical terms, swing a right. <laughs> so the kind of main line goes straight on ahead, and we're going to take the mountain past the um, Semmering Barn. I'm not, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not going to turn the safety systems on because we want to do plenty of external shots. And if I turn the safety systems on, we will inevitably get tripped out by uh, LZB, uh, or, sorry, it's PZB, I should say, or uh, the CIFA systems, and we don't want to be doing that. So like I say, in the first part of this video, we've done the uh, first part of this review, I should say. Um, we've done the full route in the Taurus during dry conditions in the middle of the summer uh, to have a good look at the route in those conditions. But being a mountain pass, snow is definitely where it's at. So we're doing the multiple unit on a stopping service just through the mountain pass just to have a look at how it looks in these snowy conditions. I must say, so far, I've been really impressed with the graphics on, on um, this game on this particular route. It it's looks really nice. They've done a really good job of it. So hopefully once we've got a bit of snow on the ground it still looks just as good. Really liking the way that signal pops out there. That's one thing that I've, I've been critical of before is signals. Um, the last few routes that we've had the signals have really popped. You've had really good, really good visuals on the signals. Right, we're going to try not to overshoot any stations. Try not to have tea and biscuits with a manager. And bear in mind, we're probably going to get a little bit of low adhesion, hopefully, as well. So uh, I need to adjust my braking accordingly.
and we'll give it a little bit of break to see how it's going to perform. I'm liking the way the snow is kind of on the top of the OLE equipment but not the bottom. I'm guessing the bottom's sort of a little bit shielded. I am generally a fan, I'm going to be repeating a lot of what I said in the, the previous video, but I'm generally a fan of how the overhead line equipment looks. First station and we're straight through it. Definitely a little bit of low adhesion going on there. But it's all on the platform, that's what counts. So if we jump out and have a quick look at the mini map. Um, so this is the section of the route down to Wiener, Wiener, Nush, N -N -N Wiener Neustadt. I'm terrible with pronunciations. Um, and then we've kind of got the mountain pass section over here. So we're going to drive down to um, this point here on the mountain pass, stopping at all the little stations, just so we can sort of see what this looks like in the snowy conditions. Oh, that's... <laughs> We didn't see that. That's tea and biscuits with the manager. Doors open on the wrong side. Let's see if we can get a nice... If I can get the camera angle. Let's see if we can get a nice flyby shot um, as we pull out the station there. And we won't give it too much power because it does seem to want to slide about a bit. I like the amount of people we've got walking around, that, that's quite nice. Uh, having lots of people does really help with the immersion in game. The snow is looking pretty heavy up here. There's the Taurus coming in the opposite direction, which is a lovely locomotive to drive. The singing train, or the musical train. Set direction to forward. We are in forward. Are we not? We're not. We do have cruise control on this as well, don't we? Um... I can't quite remember how it works on here though. Set master controller to zero. That's right, I think we have to get to the speed we want and then we press the cruise control button. Yeah, there we go, then it just holds the speed that we've selected. Although we are good for 80 now, so I think we've got to take the controller all the way back and then accelerate again. So yeah, looking really nice with the snow. Really kind of nice built up snow textures. Very, very cold. <laughs> it's almost a bit Christmassy. Definitely want to get some of the steam services on here. Um, with all the Christmas lights on. definitely lends itself to that. Yeah, I'm not having much luck with this cruise, cruise control. I think we're just going to... We'll, we'll drive manually. We'll do it the old-fashioned way.
and we've got lots of greens with yellows. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have much of a clue about the Austrian signalling system and how it works. Hence the fact I've got my safety systems turned off. Uh, there's a little bit of reading to be done there. And let's see if we can get a decent stop. Try not to give it too much break because it will just slide. Oh, we've overshot the mark a little bit there, but we're all on the platform, so it's uh, it's not too bad. And why that's doing its thing, let's go and have a little nosy round the station. People just spawning in randomly over there. Um, it's snowing on the inside of the buses. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I like how far off the um, the graveyard there is. Oh, I've not seen that asset in game before. That must be new. I'm liking how sort of far off in the distance the scenery goes in this. Um, you don't sort of ever, it's not like you ever see the end of the map or the edge of the map as it were. You always seem to be in the world, which is really nice. Uh, some of the routes you kind of, you know, you've got the horizon, you've got a little bit of scenery next to the track, then the horizon and you sort of see the edge of the map. But you're really well enclosed in this, it's really immersive. Right, we're good for 60, we're off to Kub. Uh, the two dots over the U do alter the pronunciation, but... I will, I will continue to pronounce stuff wrong and apologise profusely for it. Uh, hopefully that's not my red light. So if this does happen to be the first video I've streamed you've seen by me, then I am a former passenger train driver and a mainline freight train driver in the UK and I absolutely guarantee you I am better at it in real life than I am in this game you'll, you'll be pleased to hear that there is just engineering structures and architecture everywhere on this route it's it's pretty impressive really is pretty impressive the um, the amount of structures on this route it's I, I think this is one route I'm definitely gonna have to go and try in real life I've never done Austria by train um, I've done Germany a fair few times now but I think I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to venture into Austria and go and check out some of these routes I've got the dynamic weather turned on as well, so the conditions looks like we're getting a bit of volumetric fog uh, sort of above us. So one of the questions I did ask in the last video, um, the full length route video, was whether you're sort of going to ascend up through the fog, you know, sort of go above cloud height. So it'd be interesting to see if that happens. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the line's high enough for that or how it works. Um, but it does look like there is sort of, some sort of fog effects directly above us. Oh, there we go, okay. <coughs> yeah, loving the way the signals pop out. They, they really do pop out nicely in the low light conditions.
always like it's getting windy. The wind effect on the trees there is... is very good indeed. All the NPCs getting on and off. But it's only windy over here and over here. Oh, that looks like we're going to have trees on the line. Wow, it's really blowing a gale. Apart from this tree here, which must be a lot more stable than the rest of them. Uh, let's position ourselves over here for a, a nice flyby shot as the train comes round. Uh, wait until 09 and 43. We're a little bit early. There we are running very early. I don't know what's going on there. Let's have a nosy round. Ah, cars randomly clipping through the... <laughs> oh dear. I've, I've seen the wind effects in game before, but I've never seen them sort of this pronounced. You normally see some stuff blowing around lightly. This looks really kind of... You know, it just could be, it could be that it's the first time I'm seeing it and it's always been like that. The fact you've got like the individual branches moving rather than just the whole thing. That's pretty cool. Okay, right, we are now only 30 seconds early, so... We'll have a slow pull away. The conditions up here really are awful. Um, seeing it as I did on the previous video on a nice summer's day... And then seeing it now, how, how changeable it is, certainly makes for a more challenging driving experience and, and makes the route a lot more interesting as well. Okay, we are on the move. Hopefully we're going to see the train. Here it comes. not want to be stuck out here. Definitely, definitely not nice conditions to be stuck out in. Be glad to get in the tunnel for a bit of shelter. That really bugs me how you sort of come out the tunnel and it's nice and then suddenly it gets bad again. The, the transition of coming in and out the tunnel, it's its not just something on this route, it's something in game in general. Um, I think it's something that, that could be handled a bit, a bit better. Really struggling up these gradients. I mean, 2.3%, it's, it's pretty steep and in the slippery conditions... And you've really got to work the train as well to, to hold those speeds. I just imagine when we come down the hill, it's going to, going to be pretty much the same as well. Yeah, the weird kind of transition thing going on there as we come out the tunnel is very evident. Looking very scenic in the snow though. As we approach each each bug.
<coughs> that is a really is a marvelous piece of engineering. And the other thing to bear in mind here is the distances here are as the crow flies. So as you start going around corners and stuff, it's not your track distance, so it's it's likely to fluctuate a little bit. That's a bit shorter than I was expecting it to be. Please stop. <laughs> it's all on the platform, that's what matters. Got the nice compressor sounds there as well starting up. So if we have a quick look at the map, we can sort of see where we are. So we're probably about a quarter of the way round. So once we sort of get up to here, um, I think we then start descending down the other side of the mountain. I'm just trying to maintain time as well. 48 and 30. We're not doing too bad. We've had a little bit of speeding though. Train doors will close 30 seconds prior to departure. <laughs> and let's get it going. Been exact right time departure, look at that. Oh, the wind whistling through. Um, one of the things I, di I did know, I think... The quality of sounds in game, I think, are improving vastly. I think the, the community have complained about sounds for a long time, and I think we are definitely seeing improvements in, you know, ambient sound and train sound in game. It does make such a difference to the immersion having quality sounds, and I'm really looking forward. Again, repeating a lot of what I said on the previous video, I'm really looking forward to having the suspension dynamic suspension and stuff in game that's that's really going to change the look and feel um, of what we're doing really horrific driving conditions you, you would not want to be stuck up here Speed is going up to 70. Looks like we're going to start going downhill, if I'm not mistaken. It can be quite deceiving, even on the railway in real life, it can be quite deceiving as to whether you're going uphill or downhill. See, to me, it looked like the gradient just changed to downhill, but obviously not. Uh, we should probably look for some instrument lights as well. Uh... There we go. It'd be good to be able to see where we're going, see what speed we're doing when we're in the tunnels. Got some nice arcing on the pantograph there as well. Yeah, really interested to hear your thoughts, guys, down in the comment section below um, on what you think of this route, what you like about it, what you dislike about it. If you are local to the area, if you've travelled on these these units um, or you've travelled on this route, how does it compare to the real thing? Uh, really interested to hear your thoughts. 
um, post them down in the comment section below. And if you want to see the British Rail Class 47 being driven over this route, because they did operate in Austria for a while, so I'm told, uh, on this particular route, uh, there is a rail tour layer that you can uh, add on to this if you've got the... It uses the 47 from the Blackpool branches, so you need to have that DLC in order to get the 47. Um, we are going to be doing that on the live stream, so if you're watching this video on release day, then check the scheduled live stream. Um, and if you're watching this video after release date, then check the channel. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below as well if you want to go and check that out. Um, I'm thinking that's going to be quite challenging, bringing a, a 47 up here with some of these gradients. Especially if we put a half-heavy train behind it, that uh, could be a bit of thrash going on there. We've got a 60 coming up, and we've got a station. Remembering to think about putting those brakes in a little bit earlier, because the lower adhesion. Although at the moment the gradient is helping us, but when we start coming down the other side, that I reckon that could get quite interesting. So braking way too early. Now I'm accelerating. <laughs> I'm not doing well here. Let's get some sand down. Are you going to object if failed me? Objective failure. Uh, it's not going to let me have it. Right, we're carrying on. If you want to alight there, you'll have to walk. We are off to Bruntenstein. Clickety click over the points. Keeping hold of that speed there as well. And we're still climbing up the mountain at this point. Again, just love it, loving the architecture on this route. The the engineering involved in in building this is not in game, well in game as well. But the engineering involved in building this route in real life is is pretty immense. And without using that cruise control feature. Um, it's quite a bit of work to keep it at 60. So when we drove the Taurus on this, I used the cruise control feature, the AFB, throughout. Which certainly makes the drive a lot easier. Um, but it's a lot more interesting and a lot challenging when you're driving by hand.
Breitenstein Platform 2. And we'll have a quick look on the... Um Oh, we got a Taurus on a freight. Oh, no, passenger service going past us there. Some weird flashing going on. Have I accidentally turned my hazard lights on or something? No, not sure what's going on with that. So you can sort of see where we are on the mini map there. We're almost through the mountain, mountain pass. which means pretty soon we are going to start descending. I've lost the train. <laughs> so I was going to try and see the kind of snow gates there in free roam mode. Um, there we go. No, I'm having camera issues. <laughs> so the train kind of goes through the um, the archways there. Uh, Brittenstein. Did I get the pronunciation right? No, of course not. Lots of passing places on this line as well, so there's lots of opportunity for freight passing and faster passenger services passing. A perfect stop. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Come on, come on, come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. What? It, it doesn't give you that final couple of meters. It starts counting up again. Never mind, never mind. We are running about a minute early. I know I've said it, I'm gonna say it again. I love the way those signals pop out of the snow uh, in the low light conditions, it's really nice. Definitely need to do some reading about the Austrian signals though and sort of find out exactly how they work and what they mean. Right, waiting until 10.01. Doors will close 30 seconds prior to departure. And I think we've got one, maybe two more stations on this. Need to be careful with the pull away as well, make sure we don't wheel slip too much. Right, we are off to Wolfsburg Kogel. I'm not going to keep apologising. I feel the need to keep apologising, but... Me and pronunciations and all of that good stuff. Yeah, 
here. Looks like that possibly will be. Um, no, I think we'll have one more station after that. That's that's our next station there, and then we're popping down to this one. Um, so two more stations to go. Still climbing uphill at this point as well. And we are good for 60 kilometers an hour. Loving the rock formations there with all the, the snow on it. So as we are coming towards the end of the second video we've done on this route, what are my thoughts on it? I think it's a really nice length route, I think it's really interesting to drive, I think graphically it's absolutely stunning. Um, we've had a play on it in the Taurus when we've done a, a full service stopping, a full express service sorry, and we've had a little play on it on the multiple unit, we've seen it in the snowy conditions, we've seen it in the summer conditions. The route is very changeable depending on um, what conditions you drive it in. So it looks, obviously as you would expect, it does look completely different now in this snowy scene to what it does in the um, in the summer scene. I would absolutely love to see some sort of um, continental German Austrian steam on here, Henschler and Sun locomotive or something along those lines would be superb and I think the route really lends itself to those kind of rail tour services. Talking of rail tour services, like I say, there is going to be a class 47, um, there is a class 47 rail tour layer to this. Uh, and we are going to be driving that on the live stream. Um, so if you're watching this on the day of release, live stream tonight. If you're watching this in the future, hello from the past. Uh, and there, was, there will be a link down in the description below so you can catch up with that video. So yeah, I like I say, Austrian routes, German routes. Um, I thoroughly enjoy driving them. As a UK train driver, I find the UK content is very much uh, more of the same. It's very much, um, I enjoy it, don't get me wrong, but it's the day job, if you know what I mean. So I do tend to find with these kind of European, Austrian routes, I like to learn about the signalling, the safety systems, I like to see the different scenery. So for, for me personally, I really enjoy these sorts of routes. Um, but yeah, graphically, absolutely stunning. Um, top marks to dovetail games. Okay, one kilometre to Wolfs Wolfsburg Kugel. And we've got a 50 just coming up. Let's drop a little bit of brake in. I'm really liking the wind effect on the trees as well. I, I don't know if it's just something I've never spotted before in game, but the wind seems to be acting on, rather than the whole tree, on some of the trees, the individual branches are moving. Um, and it, I just think it looks really nice. I, yeah, I've, it probably has been in game for ages, it's just that I've never noticed it. Yeah, we've kind of got this, this thing going on with the snow effects. Um, this has been a common thing with the snow and the rain, so the first coach is rendered correctly with all the snow on the windows, whereas the back's not. I believe that's something to do with uh, saving on performance, but it does look a little bit jarring if I'm being honest. Nice and dark in the tunnel. Have I got my headlight? I have got my headlights on. It's extremely dark there, but. Yeah, we're jumping to the outside view, you can see you've got all the snow kind of rendered. Um, then if we kind of go further down the train a little bit, it's just sort of rendering on there as we as we can see it. But yeah, that, that's been an issue throughout the, uh, the Train City Well franchise. out the tunnel and we should be pretty much into the station. You can definitely see the need for the, the AFB or the, the speed, select, speed set slash cruise control settings on this um, because trying to maintain your speed and keep time is really tricky. 
but if you are just using the speed set, it's uh, it's not as interesting a drive. It's more interesting to kind of hand notch it. And there's the station. Overrunning very slightly, but not too bad. And we're just a couple of seconds late as well, so uh, we will absolutely take that. Wolfsburg. It's gone off my screen, whatever that said up there. Yeah, you can see that rendering thing on the, the train as we go along. What's the kind of snow like build up at the front of the train like? Yeah, sort of pretty standard. You got sort of like some icing on the bogies and stuff there, which is pretty cool. Looking very atmospheric indeed. Uh, this is going to be our last station departure, so we'll try and get sort of a, a nice flyby shot as we leave here. And we head down to the final station. You can see those trees there, um, the way they're blowing. It just looks... I just don't remember it looking like that before. It's absolutely blowing a gale up here though. <laughs> right, let's get it going. We are off to Semmering, which is the uh, line's namesake of course, which is where we will be terminating this service. The service does actually carry on um, that is going to be it for us. And I think we're instantly speeding. Yep. Let's get some braking. So although we've, we've only sort of climbed up the mountain, we've got to do the other side coming down. This is sort of the uh, the curvy round the mountain bit, if you like, is what we've just covered. As you can see on the mini-map, the kind of the route back down um, is, is pretty straight. So we've done this section here. So there we go guys, as we arrive into Semmering, hopefully you've all had a good laugh at my pronunciations of places, which have been absolutely atrocious. Uh, do let me know what you think of the route down in the comment section below. Like I say, do go and check out the full route um, in the Taurus in the summer conditions, there is also a link to that, and the Class 47 rail tour service, there will also be a link to that down below. Thank you very much for watching, if you have enjoyed this video, do please like and consider subscribing, and I hope to see you very soon in another video or live stream.